So hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Assetto Corsa Competizione video. Now here today we're looking at the holy grail of tyre temperatures. We've moved into 1.9 and I've got a lot of people asking, Jay, what's going on with the tyre pressures? I've noticed in a couple of your videos you're still running 27.5. Well, that's right because it just didn't feel any better if I run anything else. Um, so I thought I would set aside a little bit of time today to do some proper testing. And as you can see from the video looking down at the bottom, I've run 93 laps here at Laguna Seca in the pursuit of what is the correct tyre pressure to be running. Now I've got an, another race this evening at Laguna Seca that Obviously I've been trying to get the Honda back up to pace and I think we're almost there. It feels very similar to 1.8 um, in that we're hitting about a 122.5 consistently and when we get everything nailed, I've seen the graphics say a 121.9. Pretty happy with the 122 to be honest um, in the Honda. I'm sure there's faster cars out there. Um, but I guess me and the Honda just have a bit of an affinity together. I know there's a lot of people that look at the Honda and go, how can you be so fast in a Honda? But I guess it just suits certain circuits. It's really quick around the Hungaro ring as well. So, And I think Mizano runs quite well out as well. Um, but yeah, let's get on with what is the holy grail in regards to uh, tyre pressures and tyre temperatures. So I'm just going to come to um, the boring screen, the, the setup screen, because that's where all the magic happens, to be honest. We can look across at the timetables and you can see that... Um, We've got one twenty two point six, one twenty two point one. So what happened with the testing? Well I started out with my twenty seven point five tire pressures that I usually run and obviously trying to get the car dialed back into one point nine. Soon we started to get into the one twenty threes, which I was pretty happy with, and then we started getting into the one twenty twos. And then I start trying to mess with the tyre pressure around 24 laps. Um, so I gradually just brought the pressure down so that we were hitting about a 120, uh, 27 PSI and we started getting into the 22.6s. And then I just started to bring it down again. So I've running maybe 5 or 10 laps um, at that same tyre pressure. Obviously negating a few bad laps here and there. But when I felt like I'd... I'd done a good lap and it was representative of um, being similar to a previously good lap. That's when I sort of stopped the testing and then just brought the tyre pressure down again. So as I went through all that, gradually I felt like the tyre pressures got into a better window at around 27 PSI, sometimes 26.5 PSI. Um, all the way down to 26 psi so i think as much as the graphic shows that the tire is under inflated um it still performs really well it still runs really well in the 26s whereas previously in 1.8 you would be sliding all over the place with 126s so i think as long as you're not going higher than probably 127.8 and you're not running the tyre pressures lower than 26 
I think they're in a good window to be honest um, I think as, as much as I was in the 125.8s the car felt pretty bad to be honest it was sliding around a lot like the tyres were too cold uh, too under pressured but as soon as you get into that 26 they really do switch on but trying to find that sweet sweet number to aim for 22.122.1 I just went back to 27.5 psi 27 psi around that number and you can see I'm quite quite capable lap after lap being in the 122s that's how I finished out my session really some consistent laps back in the pits I think I adjusted the front left tire because it struggles to get hot around uh, Laguna Seca um, I just brought that tire pressure down a bit so maybe the front tire pressure is 27 psi and the rest of them are 27.5 but if we come into the if we come into the setup menu you can't see the graphic because I've not run any laps but you'll notice that I haven't got my cambers absolutely maxed out and in all fairness I don't really know whether the tyre um, information is 100% accurate at the moment because from corner to corner when you come back into the pits um, you can take your outer middle and inner tyre temperatures just up here in the top left corner you can look at the tyre pressures and you can see a very a difference of sometimes up to 20 degrees temperature difference now usually across the tyres at the front you would want to see a difference of around 8 to 12 um, Celsius or Fahrenheit whichever you've got yours running in <coughs> um, Celsius for me I think um, 20 Celsius difference was oh sorry 12 between 8 and 12 Celsius difference was was fine so when you start seeing 20 and 25 degrees difference from the outer side outer tire and the inner tire usually the inside of the tire is going to be hotter than the outer it should definitely always be that way um, I, you're obviously wearing out the inside of the tire hugely and you, obviously if you're generating heat in the inside section of the tire it's not actually dissipating throughout the whole of the tire <coughs> so my opinion would be to not run absolute maximum unless the circuit dictates that you should be doing and the tyre temperature across the tyres is, is around 8 to 12 degrees difference but I would be looking at just maybe dropping that tyre the camber just a tiny bit from being absolute maximum just so that you can try and warm up the tyre um, throughout the whole of the tyre and actually get it into a green region of around 80 um, between 80 and 90 would be best I think anywhere over 100 is going to be too hot and anywhere under 70 is going to be too cold but sometimes you struggle to get the tyre to switch on um, other things that could help you get the tyre to switch on is running a little bit more toe uh, it just starts to add a little bit more friction consistently whilst you're driving other things that I found that really did heat up the front um, the front tyres was adding uh, anti-roll bar at the front so obviously as we add anti-roll bar it makes the car stiffer at the front of the car so it's going to induce a little bit more understeer but at the same time it's going to generate heat through the tyres um, same at the rear so if you're struggling to get temperature in the rear which isn't usually the case because most of the cars on a set of course for our rear wheel drive but sometimes you can struggle to get temperature through the front of the tyre or sometimes you can start overheating the front of the tyre but definitely something to look at to sometimes control that temperature I think is adjusting the anti-roll bar to increase or reduce so obviously if the tyre is cold you want to in increase tyre temperature I would increase the anti-roll bar at the front if the tyre is getting too hot I would try and reduce the amount of slippage at the front of the car so gaining a little bit more traction I would reduce the anti-roll bar at the front obviously 
key things that will increase um, tire temperature are going to be the brake ducts um, but I think you'll start to notice if you start to reduce that brake duct too much you'll also get a reddening of the brake disc itself and you'll also start to see the tire um, the tire graphic uh, just down here in the bottom right hand corner you'll see that the tire graphic does start to get a much lighter green obviously you can still see these three segments of the tire the outside the inner and the middle I don't think aiming consistently for them all to be level across the top is going to give you the best temperatures you're just going to be looking I think between 26 and 27.5 psi I don't think that um, using the tires to reduce understeer and oversteer has the biggest effect on handling performance I think I would choose to use other tuning elements to dictate whether the car is oversteering or understeering but I think as a guide I would be aiming for 27 personally unless I'm struggling to get temperature into the tyre in which case I might drop it maybe 0.5 so maybe if I was struggling to get temperature 26.5 to 27 like I say the testing is pretty inconclusive if you if you ask me uh, after running 92 laps here at Laguna Seca I can honestly say that I think I'd be happy running 27 psi but I'd also be happy running 27.5 psi more So I think I would take away from this video that as long as your tyres are around 27 psi you should be pretty good. You, you shouldn't really be struggling at all for grip. There isn't much more grip if you run them at 27.5 or 26.5. Um, places that might benefit running higher PSI would probably be Monza um, any other high speed circuit but again it's just going to come down to testing I'd just try and get your tyres equal to say 27 PSI and just run a few sessions dropping the tyre pressures on each run um, by 0.5 PSI and just see if you can feel that difference if it doesn't feel any quicker, if you're not seeing any benefit, then it's not worth it's not worth making those changes. Um, just stick to 27 psi or 27.5, um, and I think you're good. So yeah, I'll finish the video there. I think I think um, I've done enough testing to satisfy myself, and I'll be probably running 27 psi across the board. Um, unless I feel 27.5 is better. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back to the channel. To all those that uh, are subscribed, thank you very much. To all those yet to subscribe, just press that button, press the bell notification button. Um, and yeah, share the video, smash the thumbs up button. It helps all the algorithms. Leave a comment in the video description. It is great to hear from everyone that's still playing the game. Um, let me know your thoughts on 20, uh, on 1.9 and kind of what tyre pressures you feel you're running um, yeah thanks for watching ciao for now